Yo, what is going on everyone? It is Memory here with everyone, ladies and gentlemen, for the next episode of Chihaya Furu Season 3, this being the 18th episode of this season. And we're going to hop right into this one, guys. See what we got. Obviously, we have uh, the matches continuing on. So let's get into this one. We're starting at the very beginning, zero seconds, and we're going to get started in 3, 2, 1, play. Oh, is she looking for the match? <laughs> Which you're not gonna find it on the on there, cause we know it's not being broadcasted on TV. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, that explains that. Which I wouldn't be, she, I would not be surprised if she's not the only one, you know, who's tried finding the match. Which that was Shinobu's grandmother. So, yo, know, does she even really care about the match after what we kind of got left off with in the previous episode? Probably not. She's just. Probably more concerned about how you know Shinobu's looking for maybe for her own sake, which it's her own granddaughter, which is just sad, right? Like it's terrible, you know, to say that your your granddaughter is just kind of like a appealing attraction for you to try and benefit off of or something. Like I'm I'm interested to see how that's gonna affect Shinobu in her you know in her match because she won the first one. Um, then Haruto won the first one, which that matchup too just has a totally different feeling to it than Inakuma's and uh, Shinobu's, right? Because of Suo, Suo mainly. This man's literally trying to make it go five games on purpose, but <laughs> he's trying to control the whole game. So <laughs> we'll see, man. But it's definitely uh, good, I I interesting matchups uh, so far. But I'm really curious to see how Shinobu, because the whole Chihaya thing and then that thing with her grandmother. Yeah. <laughs> Aww. This is like the only thing she's had. And what they've been trying to get at lately with her is you know, she's trying to find something else outside of Carter. You're trying to find more to life. Um, yo, then Karta, it, an attractive advertisement. Like that's how they put it. Like I mean, like, you kidding me? It was I was talking about how is this gonna affect her mind state? You know, her and then and then thus affecting her play. Inakuma's up five cards right now. And she doesn't know what Shinobu's going through mentally, but in our, from our, your perspective, she's taking advantage of this, right? Like, she could win this and tie it up. Yeah, they, see, I don't know which one I want to win. Like I said before, I would be fine with either of them winning. Like, in Harada's match, I'm just here, I'm cheering for Harada. Purely, you know, but with these two, it's like she has another kid coming. I want to know, even if they have three kids, yo, for the females, I love it. Yo, we uh, has there, there's probably been hints towards that, honestly, but. Dude, see, they're ah, but then this whole thing with Shinobu, it's like, who do I? want to win because I feel like oh man I'm fine with either of them I'm sticking to that but Inakuma they're really trying to get me on, on to root for her it looks like she's about to take this second game though Kumo won the second game, I'm assuming. Yeah. I'm stronger the more isolated I am. And shouldn't I be at my... Because this is all she's had. Damn, man. And this whole... Through this whole second... She, she was in her head. She was literally in her head throughout that whole match. That's a big reason I feel like why she just lost that one. 
Damn. You picked him up for her? Oh, they all get, they all get put in here. So the, the so oh, okay. So in a, taking all the cards and put it, turn them in is the winner's job. She's losing that grasp of the cards. You know, she's losing that. Damn. See, now the tone has kind of shifted in that matchup. Because in their first match, it was all like back and forth passion fest. And now it's like. Tone has kind of shifted a little bit in that one. Again? Because isn't. It, yeah, Hart is up two games now. He's up 2-0. Right? Dude, this, this aura, this vibe, I don't like it. Too much noise, right? Like, <laughs> the support, the expectations... On her. I knew she was going to take this off at one point, too. I was calling that. Like I was saying, I would not be surprised if she just kind of ditched this whole thing. She's going to have to put it back on, I feel like, to play, but... That morning sickness. I had no idea she like it didn't even seem like she had another kid. I guess maybe it makes sense now with the kind of the ways she's been talking saying this might be it after this one or like saying she might have to retire after this again or we'll... Oh. Was on break. Okay. So she'll have 2 hours to rest. <laughs> okay, so she's pretty early on. She doesn't know if it's a girl or boy yet. She's hoping it's a girl, though. <laughs> uh. Her mind, her body, and her feelings. The strongest. Damn. See, like, it's so hard to choose who I want to pick. Especially because of what Shinobu's going through. Meanwhile, Suo, like, this is the most interesting, like, just kind of odd matchups, too, we've had in a bit. <laughs> we need Suo's backstory, though. We need, like, I need more. I, I need more. Still need to know what that weakness is, too. Yeah, he has two wins. So if he wins one more, it's over. Is this like where Suo just turns it up or what? Or is he like... He's playing rather lazily, yeah, like now he's gonna turn he's gonna turn it up a notch. Uh -huh. you didn't even have to go out and really look for her. You she just uh kinda happened it on its own. Spotting her.
Chai is not gonna say something. Oh, and she walked right down the middle. <laughs> God, goddess. <laughs> they didn't even say a word to each other. <laughs> oh my gosh. Oh, so Suo's just like smoking him now. See, that's the thing with, like, like I was talking about with her grandmother. Like, her grandmother was trying to watch the thing, on t you know, but then the whole, like, advertisement thing, and then, like, the way she's kind of mentored her a little bit, in you know, with, with Karta, like, it's, like, a weird sort of thing. Because, you know, she, like she said, she still cares a lot for her, you know, more than she realizes. Like, let's show them our strength. Ooh. <laughs> this is where both of them about to just turn it up, apparently. Seventeen cards. Art is still smiling, though. He's still confident. <laughs> I mean, he only has to win one more game. We still haven't saw that weakness, though, too, so that maybe that's a part of it. Ah. <laughs> 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 uh. I would I would say she's uh regained. I would say she's regained. Oh, that's a great um uh, that's a great scene, man. Wow. Fourth round in the Masters match, third in the Queens now. Oh, he, th okay, so he threw the third match to be able to rest more. <laughs> His wife, is that your heart, his wife? Yeah, I wondered, like, what's, kind of, like, what's going on here? <laughs> Ooh, she's not reading though. Dang, but I still love you. <laughs> Did she just hear that? A lot of dead cards off the rip, huh? <laughs> Let's go. Yo, hard up, man. Yo, this is what I love. 
went hard. I was like, this dude. Wow. This could be <laughs> This could be though maybe uh I don't think it's a memorization part of it, but I think there's something else here that has to do kind of with his weakness why hard is doing this. His weakness, yeah. I, I I figured that had to be kind of why he was smiling. Well, partially probably because he threw a little bit the third match to be able to wrestle more. But then the weakness thing too, like he was still confident. He was still showing that, that you know, obviously that he could do this. I, I knew that change was going to happen. There's no way she was going to keep, uh, you know, how she, you know, what she was wearing in the first two rounds, like, it, 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 that she was going to keep it the same way. <laughs> like, she had to change it. Hard art. How? Wait, like, what? That's like seriously. Yeah, she might. She might be back now. Yeah, she. She's back now. I think she's regained. That's her. Yep, that's her. That's Shinobu. It's the only thing she's had. How lonely were you? Bro. This is the only thing she's had for so long. Like nothing else. <laughs> she really is going by like oh my god that's like i don't even like uh, saying it's a deep connection to the cards is a, uh, like an understatement like it's way even past that like it's just like it's you can't even like comprehend it's hard to comprehend like at least for me like, <laughs> like that's insane six card lead the brown bear is amazing. Now oh, he's. Let's go, Arda. Fuse attack. <laughs> Like I said, I love when Hardy gets like this, man. His eyes. I mean, yeah, that's something that's always, like, kind of caught my attention with him is his eyes. Like, can't see things at the end. Like, his, yeah, like his peripheral, like that. Ah. That explains, like, the whole lower right thing. 
like lower left, lower right. Wow, he really did, did the research for all of that, man. I respected it. So he was like taking this weakness and kind of doing everything he can to make sure he could take advantage of it, kind of. Which is true to his style still in a way. But there is a little tweak there. Now is he talking about his students or his uh or his wife? <laughs> Now that wasn't uh, Shinobu's grandmother, was that? Wait, I thought, am I tripping? Or I thought his wife was there already. Or is that someone else that's watching? <laughs> but that's another old person who's missing. You know, they did, a, I guess, a bad job of <laughs> getting that out there that it wasn't going to be broadcasted or something on TV. But I thought, like, or maybe it, what they were trying to get at was like she, the the girl was kind of like a wife, like that older lady in the crowd, but she was actually there. Or was that before maybe she got here? If that was, if that's the case, that's a weird way they kind of place it because in the one scene when Haruto was um, you know, taking a break or whatever, he you know, uh, they had like literally the text right next to the girl wife, which we've never even really went into that all that much with Haruto. We know he got like that cushion. He got that cushion from her or whatever. Um, you know, we, seems like obviously she supports him in this. Although she seems like, if that is her, it seems like she was worried. But the way they placed that was kind of odd. <laughs> uh, the, my only thing would be, okay, like, um, maybe she, that was before she actually came here. Because that was not Shinobu's grandmother like we saw at the beginning of the episode. So, like, maybe she was doing that initially and then, like, had to come here because it wasn't on TV. I have no idea. <laughs> but that's kind of – or maybe I'm just dumb. I don't know. But I was like, wait, isn't his wife here? But they had that scene at the end. So it was, like, kind of like – and he said he had someone to play for. Could be the students. you know. But I, I think it's – I mean, they showed the cushion, literally. Like, so, I mean, it has to be, you know, his wife, right, primarily. You know, which is sweet. And that's why, like, who else could you be cheering for in this freaking the Masters match, at least? Because Shinobu and Inakuma, I can't freaking decide. Like I, like I said, either one of them, whoever wins, I'm, I'm going to be fine with. Either way. Um, you know, Shinobu seems like she's back on her game, so Inakuma in, might be in some trouble. But that, one, that one's a tight matchup. Um, you know, Harada right now taking advantage of Suo's weakness. He's up, like, last we heard, uh, or saw, was like, six cards or something like that six or seven cards so uh, could hard end up coming away with this uh you know, will have to wait and see but i feel like this isn't it with suo you know um so yeah we'll see you know what happens with the matchups it's starting to get really good starting to get really good um honestly now that suo uh, it apparently is turning it up a notch a bit um and then also shinobu kind of regained mentally uh right and back playing at her game it seems like so you love to see that um but yeah man <laughs> the whole tv thing though is funny like i'm not really surprised that it's you know some of the older folks so because maybe they did do a good job of actually getting it out there that okay like this isn't going to be broadcasted on tv but you know how old people you know some older people are with like technology and in things like that so but i would assume that it would be on tv right like an announcement or something like that okay you know this isn't going to be shown on tv or whatever but I, maybe they didn't do a good job i don't know whatever um <laughs> this is this is a really good episode though i like the what they're doing with shinobu um you know i i like reading the, like the reddit discussion sometimes for the episodes and um for the previous episode someone said um it was something along the lines of like suo was saying to chihaya you know, she has a life. She can't be a queen. And then 
Chihaya was saying to Shinobu, right, that like, um, you know, she wants, you know, she has a life, but she wants to be a queen. And then Shinobu, uh, to Chihaya is saying like, oh, I'm the queen, but I want to have a life. So that like triangle is kind of like interesting that someone brought up, and it's true when you think about it in the, you know with kind of what's going on here. But I, I like what they're doing. I still need the Suo backstory. I still need to know, like, we know his weakness, but kind of, you know, just the past with that even, like with his eyes and just, uh, I need more Suo. I need more Suo, definitely, <laughs> right? Because so far, like, just going off, we've really mainly, I mean, we've, we've had, we have had a lot of scenes of him, but just kind of going off of his playing style mainly, right? Um, we haven't really dove too much into his character. So, like, that's why, like, I'm I've been rooting for Harada primarily, you know, um, right. So I I feel like maybe once we have like some backstory or more like on you know what's actually up with Suo and kind of what has made him where he is at now in terms of his character, that's maybe when I, I feel like I'm still gonna cheer for Harada no matter what. But it's like there, there's gonna be more there, right, with with Suo. So. We'll see, though, man. The Inakuma stuff as well. Her having another kid. I mean, this, all these characters are so great, dude. In, in in just a bunch of different ways, right? And also, I'm happy that Mal fixed the freaking bot thing for Chihai. I forgot to mention that. They they fixed, they fixed excuse me, the bot thing because someone botted it with a bunch of ones on Mal. Probably because they were salty because it was, like, in the top airing anime and Mal fixed that. So now Chihai is, like, at an 8.7 or something like that. So... That's good to see. I don't really care about Mal all that much. I use Annie List anyway, but I just kind of wanted to bring that up. That's a good thing, you know? Because um, people were, like, probably questioning, what happened to Chiaya Furu Season 3? Why is it in the low sevens? Like, is the new season that bad? Blah, 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 blah. And, you know, maybe newer people getting into anime would be like, okay, why would I want to go through two seasons and then the third season goes to shit? Which, that's not really the case at all. We all know this. So, that's another good thing. So, uh Good stuff, once again, and as always, with Chihaya. Man, let me know what you guys thought of this episode. If you guys did enjoy my reaction, make sure you drop a like, subscribe if you're new, and I'll see you all in the next one. Thank you for watching. Peace out.